Hi everyone, it's Carlene again with another video for my friends at AllFreeHolidayCrafts.com. Today we're going to be making a St. Patrick's Day treat bag. So the supplies that you'll be needing are a scissors, I'm going to be using the Ranger Force Moss Distress Ink, a couple fabric flowers, a stapler. I'm using the green Copic sketch marker in G99. A St. Patrick's Day stamp. I'm using the St. Patrick's Day coin. You're going to need a green or coordinating strip of one and a half inch by five inch scrapbook paper. You're going to be needing a white piece of cardstock and I've used this title punch by EK Success. You're also going to be needing some black ink. I'm using some red sticky tape. You're going to be needing some treats to put inside of your treat bag. And I'm using a recycled piece of plastic from one of my products that I purchased. You're also going to need a, a ruler. And for this project, I'm using the mini cabinet die by Tim Holtz and the base tray and my Big Shot. And let's not forget a plain paper bag for your treats. And then I'm using this cotton strip of lace. And don't forget my hot glue gun. So let's get started. So the first thing that you'll want to do is you'll take your paper bag and this is just your regular lunch bag and they are standard size but sometimes they vary in sizes. They're not um, super accurate. So you'll want to just take your ruler and measure out the length or the width of your paper bag because that's what the strip is for and so you want to measure that out and then cut it to one and a half inches. Now what you're going to do is take your base plate and your mini cabinet die by Tim Holtz. You're going to open up your paper bag and I'm going to actually slip this all the way down to the bottom. And now I'm going to place it into my bag and hold it up. And what you're going to do is just form it around the base tray that's inside of the bag. And you might have to tuck your bag around the edges. You're going to then place this into your big shot or whatever die cutting machine that you have and use the appropriate cutting mats and it's actually going to cut out the cabinet die onto just the front of your paper bag and you will get something like this and you can take out the inside piece and save that for another project. So, so the next thing that I want to do is I want to create a window um, that keeps my goodies inside. So I've already placed this red sticky tape along the edges and I'm just going to peel those off. Now you want to put the tape on the 
right side of of your plastic because I'm going to slip this into my paper bag like so and then I'm just going to push up and it's going to hold it right in place and so then you create a a plastic window see how cool that is now if you decide that you want to just place um, your goodies in here like cookies or something you want to make sure you wash the plastic first or the other thing is you can also use a brand new transparency sheet and just cut it out to size so we're not ready for our goodies yet I'm going to fold this down and we're just going to continue with our project here okay so the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to take my lace here and I didn't have a green lace so I'm actually going to color it with the forest moss distress ink and all you need is make sure you have the right side and then you're just going to run this across like so and then you have a nicely distressed green lace for your project so easy alright so this is going to be hot glued down to the bottom of my bag just like that and I always like to leave a little bit excess so I don't so I can cut the lace to size there you go alright so the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to create my flower and I just have these two pieces of fabric flower and we're just going to glue them together. We're going to alternate the petals. And then on the inside or the center, the coin just goes right into there. And this gets glued down on the corner. It gives it a really cool detail to your project. Okay, so I've already stamped out my stamp for St. Patrick's Day, and I've actually colored it with the G99 Copic marker. You can use any marker that you choose. And I'm going to take my strip, and I'll need some a little bit of liquid glue. You want to glue along the edges. And this is going to go right above the cutout, like so. And then I'm going to take my stamped image and center it right along that strip. okay and then here's my bag of goodies you can make cookies or put um, any kind of candy in here whatever you like just gonna fold it at the top and fold it down and this excess part you just need to trim off and I'm gonna just leave about a one inch overlap and then you'll take your stapler and put a couple staples on the ends
And there's your little treat bag. If you like to give gifts to your child's teachers, this is a great project to make really quickly. You can bake a batch of cookies and put them in these treat bags and your child can take them to school and pass them out. I hope you like this project and for more project ideas please visit my friends at allfreeholidaycrafts.com. Thanks for watching.